The Vatican is expressing shame and sorrow over the scathing report. The Holy Father understands well how these crimes can affect the faith and the spirit of believers, the people in the pews, and he is concerned about that. The comments came last night during a rare late night statement from the Holy See press office. Vatican spokesperson Greg Burke says Pope Francis wants to assure the victims he is on their side. Alan Holdren is the EWT and Rome bureau chief. Alan, how are officials in the Vatican reacting to the Holy See statement? Well, Mark, Cardinal Raymond Burke, who's the former prefect of the Vatican's highest court, uh, said yesterday that this is the worst crisis in the history of the church in the United States. He lives in Rome, uh, but he's just back from a month-long visit to the U.S. where he was able to hear from enraged Catholics. Burke told EWTNs the world over that he's never seen so many people so angry and frustrated with church leadership. I also spoke with an American priest from New England who's living and working here in Rome. Uh, he worked on a committee back when he was in his di diocese in the United States that processed cases of alleged abuse in his diocese. He said that this crisis uh, could lead to what Benedict XVI predicted, a smaller Catholic population. And Alan, how does the Vatican's response compare to the 2002 abuse crisis? The Vatican was quick to react to the grand jury report uh, this time. If you compare it to the reaction in 2002, when the Boston Globe uncovered that massive abuse scandal in the Archdiocese of Boston. Critics say that uh, in this case it was too little too late. Uh, they say it rehashed what people already know and didn't offer solutions or promises of an investigation that people are asking for. Others say that the Vatican acted too hastily and should have issued a more measured response. Another problem observers are noting is the defensive tone of the Vatican when it noted that the abuse uh, in Pennsylvania took place before the early 2000s. And all of this comes just days ahead of the World Meeting of Families in Dublin, Ireland. That's an international conference that will focus on marriage and the family. The crisis will certainly be on people's minds at that conference, Alan. That's right, Mark. Uh, Cardinal Donald Wuerl of Washington, Cardinal Joseph Tobin of Newark, New Jersey, and also Cardinal Kevin Farrell are all expected to be there and participating, and all of them are under fire for how they dealt with this crisis. Uh, Wuerl was named more than 200 times in that Pennsylvania grand jury report, and he's under the microscope at the moment for his alleged failure to act as Bishop of Pittsburgh, not to mention the ongoing pressure he faces over the McCarrick scandal. Theodore McCarrick, of course, was his immediate predecessor in Washington, D.C. Uh, Pope Francis accepted his resignation earlier this summer from the College of Cardinals and removed him from public ministry after credible accusations of sex abuse of minors and adults came to light through the Archdiocese of New York. The president of the U.S. Bishops Conference, Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, is now asking the Vatican for a full investigation into the life of McCarrick and his actions. Uh, all of this threatens to overshadow the world meeting families in Dublin, Ireland next week, Mark. We'll definitely be paying attention to what is said in Ireland next week. Alan Holdren, EWT and Rome Bureau Chief, thank you. Thank you, Mark.